can just put their words together. They're natural orators. They're, 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 that's, that's your talent. There's a difference between your talent. You can wake up and do it. You can, you can do it in your sleep because that's a part of your makeup. But if you want the spiritual gifts to work, Lord help me tonight. If you want the spiritual gifts to work, there is some fasting that you got to do every now and then. Uh, we don't talk about fasting anymore, do we? There, there's some praying that we have to do. You got to pray up on an, an anointing. I wish I had somebody help me in here. You, you can't just get up and do it. Even tonight, I was laying uh, before the Lord before I came and said, Lord, I need your anointing. I don't want to stand before your people and just make a lot of noise and try to impress somebody, but I need your anointing. And what makes the spiritual gift so powerful is that when people see you operating in the Spirit of God, they get amazed because they know that's not normally you. Oh, y'all don't like me here tonight. See, see, the world sees our talent, but they need to see something beyond what we can do. It's time for miracles and it's time for signs and wonders to come back to the church. That's why Acts chapter 3 was so powerful. The Bible said that Peter and John went up to the temple about the hour of prayer. Notice this is Acts chapter 3, but in Acts chapter 2, they had just got filled with the Holy Ghost. But even after they got filled with the Holy Ghost, they still went to the prayer meeting. I dare you to shake somebody's hand and say, just because you have the Holy Ghost, doesn't mean you have to pray anymore. The Bible said that they went up to the temple about the hour of prayer. There was a man laying there at the gate called Beautiful. The Bible said that they were, he was laying from his mother's womb. Somebody dropped him off every day. He came dangling a cup, begging for money. And the Bible said he was asking for arms. And some of y'all to catch this next week, he was asking for arms, but he really needed some legs. That's a whole nother sermon for another day. But the Bible said he was jiggling the cup and saying, I need some money. But then Peter looked back at him and said, look on us. Said, we don't have any money, but we got a name. I dare you to shake somebody's hand like you're about to shake it off and say, neighbor, tell him you may not have any money, but tell him make sure you got the right name. And anybody know what's the greatest name on the face of the earth? His name is Jesus. The Bible says that Peter said, look on us. Silver and gold have we none, but such as we have, give we unto thee. And then he reached out his hand and said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible says that immediately the man got strength in his ankle and his leg bones and he got up and he ran in the church the Bible said he was walking he was leaping and praising God can I put a pin there and tell you that whenever God does anything for you you need to take some time to give God some glory I dare you to lift your hand right now and open up your mouth and give God praise yeah! Hey! Glory! The Bible says that he gained strength in his ankle bones. He gained power in his ankle bones. He started walking and leaping, praising God. And the same folk that saw the main line, they saw him lame, saw him suffocating, saw him down, saw him going out. Now he's walking. They were scratching their head, shaking their head. They were wondering about whose might and power. But the Bible says that Peter and John didn't take the credit for themselves. But they said it was in the name of Jesus that we did the miracle. And they went back after they were beaten, put in jail. They got out of jail. They went back to their own company and started praying again and said, Lord, they told us to shut up. They told us not to preach in your name. And as they were praying, the Bible says that the earth began to shake and the Holy Ghost was poured out again. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, that's getting ready to be a shaking in the
the Holy Ghost. Come on, Jesus. Shake the church. Shake our families. Shake our homes. Shake our churches. Yes, what we need. We got ministries. We got programs. But we need another down home. Our power of the Holy Ghost. Is there anybody here? He's everything. I said he's everything that you need when you're down. He's an elevator. When you're bound, he's a liberator. When you don't have anybody to talk to, he's a communicator. When you feel like quitting, he's a motivator. When you're confused, he's a regulator. When it seems like you're slow, he's an accelerator. When you need your life organized, he's an administrator. When things seem ugly, he's a decorator. When I'm lost, he's my navigator. When I'm sick, he's the eradicator. He's a opportunity. Church of God in Christ, thank you for this chance. But if it came down to it, they have had to choose between me and the chairman of the AIM convention and having the anointing. I say it's been wonderful. It's been great. The Lord, Lord, Lord give me the anointing. Say it. somebody and say neighbor what we need is the Holy Ghost we need it like they got it in Acts chapter 2 the Bible says that they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they got drunk they were stumbling drunk in the Holy Ghost somebody said that they drunk off a new wine but Peter stood up and preached the first Pentecostal message and said these are not drunk as ye suppose but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel and I'm telling you tonight what God is getting ready to do is he's getting ready to give them a drunk church some drunk preachers some drunk missionaries some drunk auxiliary leaders some drunk children and God sent me here to be the Holy Ghost bartender and I got a message for you. Jesus paid the tab and the drinks are on the house. Get out of your seat. Go tell five people the drinks are on the house. Yeah! shake it off and say neighbor it's about time for a holy ghost outpouring raise up your hand throw your head back open up your mouth and begin to shout begin to shabak begin to give god glory lord It's not somebody's half out I need to be filled again. I need to be filled again. I need I need a little more Jesus. I need some more power. I need some more anointing. I need some more glory. I need some more strength. I need your power. Raise up your hand and praise him. Lift up your hand and open up your mouth and give God praise. Come on, give him praise. Listen, I got 
to quit. Everyone's standing. What we need is an old-fashioned outpouring of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about the kind you get on the altar and don't leave till you get a breakthrough. I'm not talking about a patty cake experience. I'm talking about the kind they had to carry you back to your hotel tonight. I'm talking about the kind that won't leave you when the service is over. Do you like it did me when I got filled? I was tossing and turning in my bed all night long. There are about a thousand people in this room. There's at least 1,000 people, I don't want anybody to leave, that need the Holy Ghost. Some of you need to be refilled. I don't care who doesn't step out. I want you to rush to this altar when I tell you to come with your hands up. Some of you have been depressed and stressed out. You need a refilling tonight. But if you want to be filled, I don't care what age you are. I want you to step out of your seat and rush to this altar. One, two, three, now. Come on, move quick. Move from where you are. Come on, that's it. Saints, clap your hands and praise God for these that are coming. Come with your hands up. Come on, come on. Saints, they're coming all from all over the building. They're coming from all over the building. Hallelujah. If you praise God right now, God will touch somebody else's heart. If you're afraid to come by yourself, ask somebody to come down and stand with you. Come on, come on, press in. Come on, from all the way over in the corner, press your way to the altar. Come on, come on. Come on. Hallelujah. They're still coming, saints. They're still coming. Just clap your hands and praise God. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. I see him pouring out already. some more prayer warriors, some more intercessors, all over there in the corner over here. Come on, need some anointed men and women of God. Lord, fill us. Fill us with your spirit. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your glory. In the name of Jesus. God, here we are tonight. Our soul on the altar. We need an outpour. We need your glory. Fill us tonight with the Holy Ghost. Set us free from every demonic spirit, from every demonic thoughts. God, forgive us of our sin. Forgive us of our shame. Forgive us of our wrongdoing. Wash us in your blood. Wash us in the whole Sunday of the old side. Wash us in the blood. The blood of Jesus. Save us tonight. Save us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your glory. We're waiting before you. Our soul on the altar. Can't do nothing until you come. Lay your hand on us, Jesus. Touch us one by one. Name by name. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Come on, lift up your hands all over the building and praise the Lord. Pray them and he'll fill you. Pray them. He'll come in. Let everything that have breath. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Come on, thank you. Now come on, pray them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, everybody, clap those hands and tell the Lord thank you. Come on out of your soul. Come on out of your belly. I see breakthrough here. I see power here. Do it, God. Do it, Jesus. Fill us tonight. Fill us with your glory. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We don't want to leave the same way we came. Set us on fire. Set our soul on fire. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord. Take us back. Take us back to praying. Take us back to holding on.
on to the hold of the old. Take us back to crying out to you. Take us back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, all over the room. He's falling in this place. Hold the music. Hold the music. Open up your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth. God said, I want to hear your voice tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and praise him. With joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. He comes in a glad heart. He's here tonight. He's here tonight. Just reach up and receive his spirit. Reach up and receive his glory. Come on. I hear the sound of Pentecost in the room. Come on, pray them. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, come on, hold on here. Hold on, just a few more moments. Keep praising him. Don't let it go. Come on, all on the platform, in the choir stand. Lift up your hands. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, Wonder working God. Hallelujah. He's touching you now. Young man, he's touching you right now. Young lady, don't give up on God. Let him touch you. Let him deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. Open up your mouth, everybody. Even if you're not on the altar, let's get on one accord like they did in Acts chapter 2. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Lift those hands straight up in the air as high as you can. And open up your mouth and give God the loudest and the biggest praise you've ever given him in your entire life. Come on, pour your soul out before him. Come on. Hey, glory. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, hey. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Now, come on, let's praise the Lord in this house. Praise God for the outpour. Praise God for deliverance. Woo. Hallelujah. Come on, just a couple of more minutes. Come on, keep praising. 
season of your breakthrough is here. You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. Don't let go.
Hands up, open up your mouth. I still hear that sound. 